Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Everybody glad to be here this morning? Amen. It's good. We've been looking forward to it. It's good to see everybody. Of course, I know we've got a lot more coming in. Some's on the road. Some of ours here in the home church is working, but they'll, they'll be in here straggling through later today and tonight. But we're glad that we're all here this morning for the first service. Good to see you. Amen. We're going to stand and uh, ask God's blessing on the service. Thank God for 2018 convocation. Amen. Portage, Indiana. We've been having these, uh, I don't know how many years. Anybody know how many years? How many? More than 50. More than 50. Wow. That's amazing. Thank the Lord. I wouldn't know much about it, being as young as I am. But, uh, amen. Thank the Lord. Let's all get our minds off of everything, and, and uh, let's just pray. And church, as we pray this morning, let's really pray that God will just uh, intervene and bless the conference, every service, every need. Uh, God could do wonders during these three days. How many believe that? God can do wonders. God is still in the miracle business, if we can put it that way. He, he's, God can work miracles. God can do things. But it takes somebody that will believe and trust and, and believe. Some I was, uh, some was kidding about the heat, talking about the heat. They're all saying it's going to be hot. I said, I know I heard that, but I said, I prayed. And so uh, you helped me pray that that heat, for whatever reason, kind of just go around porties and not, not hit us. Can you say amen? We don't need all that heat. But if the Lord wants us to have it, we'll have it. But uh, let's just pray and ask His blessing. Good to see all the preachers and the ministers. Man, we got a good we got a good group of ministers here with us today. Amen. How many would like to hear every one of them? All right. Well, maybe the Lord will move on us. We'll just give every one of them an hour or two apiece. Amen. Well, that'd be some good Bible teaching, wouldn't it? Amen. Let's pray. Fathers, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for allowing us to be here. One more time in Portage, Indiana, the Church of Jesus Christ, to worship you in spirit and in truth. My God, to have this convocation, we just pray your blessing, God, be upon you from the beginning this morning through the end Sunday night. God, that you'll just bless, strengthen, and use us any way, God, that you see fit. We know, God, that you can heal, deliver, and set free. We thank you, Lord, for it all. Lead and guide us in all that we do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray and ask all things. Amen. Can the church say amen? As Brother Perry would say, let's give the Lord a good hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Thank God. He's a good God. We, uh, uh, Sister Paul is going to lead us in a couple of songs, I think. But you be praying. We've, uh, we've invited uh, some uh, people that we've talked to, witnessed to, preached to. Now, some of them have said they're going to come, so you pray to it's God's will, they'll come and uh, we'll get to see them, uh, yeah, we'll get to preach a little bit more to them. And, uh, there's a lot of good people out there, they just haven't got into all the light yet. But you know what, church, when we say that, it might sound arrogant, we're not in all the light. I think there's a lot of things we don't know yet. Amen? But we'll walk in the light as he's in the light. The Bible says then we'll have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ will cleanse us from all sin. So we just got to keep walking in that light. And there's a lot of people out there that need more light. We need it. So if we can get out there and reach them, no wonder God said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen? So don't ever underestimate that. Sister Paula, everybody help us sing. We have a great gathering this weekend, but someday is going to be a, a, the greatest gathering. What a gathering that will be. So page, page 107, what a gathering that will be. Thank you. 
we're talking about the gathering is that when that roll is called up under, we should all be there. But a lot of people are not working to try to be there, but I want to be ready when that roll. 365. preaching God's coming he's coming he's going to come back for the church a lot of people don't want to believe it but guess what one day he's going to take it out of here my I said he's going to take it out of here how many really believe what we've been preaching for years one of these days we're going to rise and meet him in the air the church of Jesus Christ is going to rise and meet the Lord in the air. Now that ain't that's not a fairy tale, friend. That is facts. Why? Because the book, the book said it. And whatever that book says, it's going to happen. Amen. Doesn't matter what all the scoffers say, unbelievers, or anybody else. God's word is going to happen just like He said. Amen. Going to be a gathering. Boy, I like that song. What a gathering that's going to be one day. Can you just imagine, if I can just have a minute, just, just imagine everybody, all of God's people, gathered together in one place. Whew. My, my, my. No wonder the Bible talks about them. We're just worshiping and praising, magnifying God, a number no man could number. So what am I saying? Hold in there. Hold in. Hang in there. Them hold out to the end, one's going to be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. 
All right, we're going to, now this morning I thought, well, there's not a whole lot of us. we got more coming, but we're going to try to, uh, maybe like we do sometimes in the past, just kind of get uh, organized and recognize everybody, give everybody a chance to say something. Amen. Maybe sing a few songs. Amen. It, we, it's not often that we get together like this. Amen. So I'm looking forward to it. I love it. Uh, it it's, it's just great to be among God's people. Amen. So that's what we're going to try and do this morning. So if you're called upon to sing, uh, do your best if you can. Amen. If you're called upon to maybe minister her a little bit, uh, whatever time we give them, just try and make that. But uh, let's just enjoy it. Amen. Thank God. We had a great camp. How many enjoyed camp? <laughs> Ah, thank the Lord for the youth camp and all of them that went. Amen. It was wonderful. Got three young ones get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord, that's wonderful. That was worth the whole the whole trip. <clears throat> Can you say amen? amen? And good fellowship we had. Uh, the Spirit of God was there in the altar services. Man, the God has just been good to us. Well, he, and I tell you what, he's not done. And look, can you just imagine what could happen these three days? Ah, what is possible? In these three days, if we'll just get our minds off of everything, not worry about nothing, amen, and just worship God in spirit and in truth and, and enjoy one another's company, amen. So try and do that. If you've got a need, God can meet it before this weekend's over. God can heal, he can deliver, and he can set free, amen. So just keep that in mind, amen. I think we're going to have uh, Sister Katie. Uh, I kind of like to hear her sing. That's why I have her sometimes come up and sing. But I'm going to have her give us our first special tonight, uh, this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't know what they'll sing, but she knows the ones I like. Somebody testify. Good to have Bishop Rose. Praise the Lord. Everybody got to see Brother Rose. Amen. We appreciate it. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good to be at the house of the Lord. Thank God for a safe journey up here to uh, the convocation. My wife drove all the way. She's done a good job. I have to brag on her. As she was following Brother Brian, she's trying to stay with him, and she's done a pretty good job. But I uh, appreciate her so much. Uh, appreciate the Lord most of all for what he's done for me in my life. Uh, I had some, uh, my brother testified at Tim Revival in Pearson one time. He got up and said, I've had a stroke of bad luck. He said, at least I, ha I had the stroke. <laughs> well, I've had three of them, but I've still uh, got a good mind. I thank God for that. Uh, got the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of a God, thought not robbery to be equal with God, Made him take on himself a, a servant uh, to, to uh, bless us. And thank God he came down here to save us most of all from our sins. Not in our sins, but from our sins. So I thank God for all his mercies, blessings. Thank God for Bishop Spence. Thank God for Brother uh, Brian helping me at the church uh, on Sundays and sometimes Wednesdays. He comes when he can. And uh, I thank the Lord for that, him and Sister Debbie. Uh, thank God for the church of Jesus Christ, the one he purchased with his own blood, the one Brother Spence said he's coming after someday. Uh, everybody in the graves is going to hear his voice. They are all coming out, whether he's done good or evil, in one way or the other, coming out of that grave to face Jesus Christ. But we want to meet him in the air. Praise the Lord. And forever be with the Lord. Comfort one another with these words. Uh, there's comfort in us, amen. There's reward waiting on us, so if we just continue on. Uh, praise the Lord. And y'all just pray for me. Pray for the church. God bless you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So good to have him, Sister Brenda, with us. Amen. From the great, beautiful state of West Virginia. Amen. We just wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a comfort. It wouldn't be the same without Brother Paul and him here. Amen. With us. We thank God he's able to make it. Amen. All right. We're going to have our first song. I'm not sure what they're going to sing, but you know what? Uh, worshiping God is still okay. Praising the Lord is still an okay thing. So don't don't let the devil or anybody hinder you or you know just worship and praise the Lord. Can you say Amen, Church? Praise the Lord. I just want to first testify. 
I, uh, I thank the Lord for everything that he has done for me. And in 2008, January of 2008, was my last round of chemotherapy for my cancer. So I'm just so grateful that I'm still cancer free. And, you know, I. <laughs> I told Mark, I don't know what's going to take me out, but I know what's not, and that's cancer, because the Lord healed me of it. And, uh, you know, if I believe that if I go back on God, then that, that's a possibility that I could get cancer, but I don't, uh, I don't plan on doing that. I want to make it to the end. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful. I, the home church knows I, I just look around, and I just see the end. And I'm constantly telling people the end is near, the, the end is coming. I have a friend of mine. I've been really trying to work with her to try to get her to come to church, and we talk about it all the time, and I tell her, she, she said, do you think that we're living in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah? I said, I think we're worse than how Sodom and Gomorrah was. I think that the, the type of evil that's around is worse than what was in Sodom and Gomorrah, and I'm just grateful that God has blessed us and blessed us to be in the church, and I just, I hope and pray that I could reach somebody when I'm out there just even if it's just one person, if I could just reach one person, I would feel, I would feel like I, I served a good purpose, you know, and I just, I love the Lord very, very much. The blood that Jesus Christ shed, he shed for me, way back on
thinking sometimes people might say well how do you get strength out of that blood well I can tell you how I get strength out of it because I know whose blood it was I know what the Bible says about it and I know the hope that it carries amen, amen. and most of all I'm so thankful that only the blood of Jesus Christ was able to purchase our salvation that's the hope and that's the blessing I get out of the blood can you say amen knowing that it was God himself praise the lord church how he's happy amen wow but as jim and i was talking this morning i say this all the time probably about every convert the bible i tell you, say it at church a lot the bible teaches us that a merry heart do it good like a medicine so if you're not feeling real good and might be tired smile laugh a little bit enjoy the lord i guarantee you, you'll get to feel better can you say amen we're going to ask now which is that we're, we're not going to get into a lot of unless the Lord leads now, preaching or teaching. But I'd like to recognize some of the ministers here this morning. I'm so thankful for all of them being here. And uh, I'm thankful for Brother Bishop Rose. Uh, uh, I'm thankful that uh, he was able to make it. I enjoyed his testimony. It's always good to hear him. Amen. I appreciate him. I'm going to ask Brother Troy to come up and uh, just say a few things for us. Maybe he feels led, sing a song. <laughs> if he does good, we'll have him preach maybe sometime during the conference. Brother Troy Stafford, all the way from Florida. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. How many enjoy youth camp? Amen. We're still in the cloud over those getting baptized, and uh, we just appreciate, amen, Sister Gabby getting baptized, and amen, the, the tent revival down in Dyersburg. We just appreciate God moving down there, and uh, uh, just, just love the Lord. Those got baptized there, and we appreciate everyone. Amen. Thank God for, uh, you know, he, he, the Bible said, tell your children and your children's children of the second coming. And you know, it sounds like it's a long ways off. And, it's, and, and to some, they said all things continue as they were since our fathers fell asleep. But, you know, we still tell our children and our children's children. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, less than probably 100 years ago, they said that uh, these men are going to get together and they're going to make this airplane and they're going to fly it off the ground. And they said it'll never happen. Never happen. Let me tell you something, friend. <laughs> me and Jeremy walked in there and got on that airplane just like it's always happened. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And it flew. And it, flew. <laughs> and it got up off that ground. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And a lot of people, they, 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 just, they don't realize, amen, that God is greater than what we can imagine. Amen. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. And his power is great. Amen. He can heal cancer. He can heal heart disease. He can, amen. And, 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 and you've done come too late to tell me he can't save because if he can save a wretch like me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, amen. I don't know what I'm supposed to be singing a song here or something. Or it's, praise the Lord. I get, it depends on what gear I get in. Everybody say amen. I'm feeling good here, though, this morning. Good to see everyone. Amen. We, uh, we want to say we appreciate our presiding bishop. I'm glad Brother Jeremy got to come with me, and uh, praise the Lord. It's been a long time since he got to come up to the general conference. And Amen. Brother Jim had dinner with them last night, and Brother Jay and Brother Jay, Jay and Brother Jay. Just Brother Don, it's good to see y'all. Brother Brian and Brother Jared. Just all the ministers. Amen. Let's give them a good hand, praise. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I'm, I'm looking forward. I, I kind of figured this morning there'd be a few that would be absent. Amen. So we may be few in number on this first morning service. It's going to get greater. 
and they, I, I told about, I, I told Brother Jeremy, I said, you know, I said, I'd, I'd like to see somebody's loved one come, somebody that, you know, it, it's, it, and, and even backsliders have come back to the Lord, amen, but when, when somebody has never repented, never been to an altar, amen, man, you're talking about with the angels of heaven rejoicing, <laughs> praise the Lord, you're talking about getting excited, amen, when one sinner, one sinner, Amen. Me and Brother Paul was talking, he, and the Bible said, Let's, whosoever will. <laughs> he said, not many are willing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It ain't up to, it's, it's to whosoever will. Let him come and take of the water of life freely. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if we could, be, if we could just be a, a prayer <laughs> to that soul salvation, praise the Lord, it would be worth it all. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing, give me a key. I don't know. See, try to see. Praise the Lord. Everybody stand. Hello. Praise the Lord. And I believe it's going to be down lower than that. How about what is that? Go to eight. And I believe he's coming back like he said. And I believe that the trumpet's going to sound so loud. One day it'll raise the dead. of an eye he's gonna split the eastern sky and I believe he's coming back like he said high upon a mountain from where he ascended an angel of the Lord declared that it would be don't stand here grieving for the one you see leaving in like manner he's coming back for you and me sing with me and I believe he's come he said and I believe that the trumpet's gonna sound so loud one day it'll raise the dead twinkling of an eye he's gonna split that eastern sky I believe he's coming back like he said I believe the time is nearing when we'll soon see his appearing this could be the hour Oh, this could be the day when all the saints of every nation will lose their gravitation in the middle of the air be caught away. And I believe he's coming back like he said. And I the trumpet's gonna sound so loud one day it'll raise the dead for in the twinkling of an eye he's gonna split that eastern sky I believe he's coming back like he said let's all sing it from down here and I believe he's coming back like he said and I believe that the trumpet's gonna sound so loud One day it'll raise the dead For in the twinkling of an eye He's gonna split the eastern sky I believe he's coming back Like he said In the twinkling of an eye He's gonna split the eastern sky and I believe he's coming back like he said everybody believe that uh, you know I don't know how some people think about it I'm sure a lot of people do I know I do but a lot of times you get to thinking about the coming of the Lord and you know there's a lot of people today don't even they say they don't but honestly I believe they deep down they know that there is a God 
and they know that he's coming back. But I've often, you know, think, what's some of these people that, you know, just don't go to church, don't believe in God, or don't, well, I'm fine the way I am, and all this. One of these days, church, what in the world do you think is going to be going on in their mind when God looks down and says, it's finished, come up hither, and we rise and meet him, and what are they going to be thinking then? My God, I think there's going to be a lot of people then. They're going to have a change of mind, change of heart. They're going to be trying to find somewhere, amen, where they might be able to go, amen, and get a hold of God. But it'll be too late. Amen. Nobody, I've said it many times, I'll say it again this morning. Church, there's not nobody, nobody is going to just stumble into heaven. Nobody's going to, if God's not going to at the last moment say, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and save him anyhow. No, friend, you've got to be born again. Nobody's going to slip into heaven. Nobody's going to stumble into heaven. Amen? If you get into heaven, it's going, to be, it's going to be because God said, Enter in, thou good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. Are you a good and faithful servant this morning? Well, uh, I'm trying. Well, you know what? We can all try harder. How many believe we're living in the last days? I'm not trying to shed any depression on anybody, and I know this is a first service this morning, but uh, look around. I, rem- I, I, I look back, we were talking about this uh, yesterday. Go back a few years, a man ago, and you look around during, maybe not the first service, but at least by tomorrow afternoon sometime, you look around, this place was packed. Folding chairs were in the aisles on both sides. Folding chairs lined up in the back. Pulpit was full. We don't see it today because people are giving up. Amen. Getting relaxed in the Lord. Praise Him. That's why you and I better dig our heels in. Amen. And stand for the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. How many remembers those days? Especially in the old church. My Lord, it was smaller than this. I don't know how we got them all in here. Amen. It was packed. You think it's hot now? You should have been back then. All we had was a couple window units in the back. My Lord, it was hot, Sister Brenda. You remember them? But you know what? We had conference. Amen. We we praised the Lord and worshiped the Lord. Had a good time. Heard good preaching and teaching. And I believe with all my heart that that's why we're still here today. Because we heard some good teaching back then. We heard the word of God preach under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Praise him, church. And that's what it's going to take in these last days. Amen. I'm going to ask Brother Brian. Uh, glad that him and Sister uh, Debbie got to come all the way from Virginia. We appreciate them. She don't preach too much except at home. But <clears throat> we'll ask Brother Brian. Amen. I'm sure she can preach. Probably. Brother Brian would probably agree with me that she can preach to him anyhow amen but well, we're going to ask brother brian we love him appreciate him come up and just testify say something i don't know if he sings or not but uh, if he does he can sing for us brother brian pembrook virginia no worries no singing praise the lord this morning Thankful to be here today. I'm thankful, so thankful that uh, Brother Paul and Sister Brenda were able to come with us this time. Uh, I always like traveling with them. It's uh, it's always good. I like being around them. Uh, you know, we're thankful that God allows us to get on the highway and we can make it to all these things. And uh, thankful that we can go up and help Brother Paul. Uh, always a blessing to, to be there with them and the saints there to, in West Virginia. It's always good. And it's good to be here and appreciate the home church and Bishop Spence and everything and all the food that will be provided. You know, I'm thankful for Sister Patsy and, and taking care of all that. And just good to be here this morning. Good to be in God's presence with God's people today. And to know that we have the revelation of Jesus Christ today. Thank God we have the revelation of the name of Jesus Christ today. And we can come in the house of the Lord that has the name of Jesus Christ above it today. Thankful to know about Jesus Christ. Thankful for the remission of sin today. Thank God that we can be baptized in his name. And thank God for the Holy Ghost this morning. Through which it, we cannot rise with God without it. 
If that call is made and you don't have the Holy Ghost, you're not going up with the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful for it tonight. Thankful for all that God provides today. Thankful that He has kept His hand upon us many times. And He's healed many things today. And I'm thankful and I'm expecting God to move in this conference. I came here, you know, with that hope. That somebody would get saved. That somebody would come down to that altar of prayer and give their life over to God. I'm thankful that maybe somebody will get the Holy Ghost tonight. Thankful looking for somebody to get it tonight. Expecting it. Want to leave everything outside and let God have His way. I'm giving praise to God and come into God's house and we can still lift our hands and give God praise. We can come in here without all the world's distractions and we can praise our God. We can worship God in the beauty of holiness as the Bible says today. Thankful for being here in the house of the Lord. Looking for many people, you know, to get saved, to get something that they need from God. Don't leave this weekend without getting what you need from God, you know. And give God praise. Praise the Lord. I forgot to mention, yes, not only is he working there in Virginia, but he's going down every weekend, amen, and even during the week. Uh, that's, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. Uh, he drives all the way over to take care of the church there and help him brother, uh, uh, brother Paul out. I, that's, that's a lot of work. And, uh, but I'm thankful Brother uh, Brian is doing that. Amen. You know, serving God uh, is not always uh, easy. Sometimes there's a sacrifice. And I, th I thank God for the sacrifice that he's doing. Uh, driving all the way over there and back all those services and taking care of it. I know Brother Paul appreciates it, and uh, we appreciate it. Can we say amen? Amen. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, Sister Jeanette, can you sing for us tonight, this morning? Come on up, sis. We're going to hear from Brother Jim. We appreciate him. Him and I have been doing a little traveling. He preached for us a few nights here not too long ago. Done pretty good. Amen. Amen. He done so good, and we're going to have him preach some more during this conference, I think. Amen. Thank the Lord. Oh, she done grabbed some help. thankful for everything that God does for us. I'm thankful for his many blessings and uh, always keeping his hand on us and providing everything that we need for him. And I'm thankful for this convocation. Looking forward to the miracles and, and blessings that God's going to pour out. Real quick, I forgot to testify about this. I told the Lord that I would. Uh, I've been sick ever since camp. And last Sunday when I tried to sing, I could not I couldn't sing like I normally could. And I told the Lord this week, I was like, Lord, if you'll heal me, I promise I will give you the credit for it. So God has touched me. I'm not all the way better, but he's definitely touched me, and I'm thankful for that. Give me your hand, and let's agree together, and all of our enemies will crumble at our feet. Bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and in the name of Jesus Christ, Satan has to flee, cause we've got the power in the name of Jesus Christ, we've got the in the name of the Lord And though Satan rages We cannot be defeated Cause we've got the power In the name of the Lord And for many Try to stop us, but the church of Jesus Christ is still alive. And like a mighty army, we keep marching. 
Standing on word, winning every battle with the Lord on our side. Cause we've got the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We've got the power in the name of the Lord and the Satan rages we cannot be defeated cause we've got the power in the name of the Lord listen to this verse and for many years now Satan's tried to stop us, but the church of Jesus Christ is still alive. And like a mighty army, we keep marching onward, winning every battle. Cause we've got the power in the name of Jesus Christ. We've got the power in the name of the Lord. And though Satan rages, we cannot be defeated. Cause we got the power in the name of the Lord and though Satan rages we cannot be defeated cause we've got the power in the name of the Lord got the power. Some people want to get a little, you know, funny sometimes or smart outically, as the old saying is, well, you, you say you got the power, and why not this and why not that? Well, you know what? Their, their version of the power we're talking about or singing about is a whole lot different than the power we're talking about. Amen? There was power in God's people all along. Way back, I was thinking about this, they were singing that song, I never thought about it before, but you know, uh, they try. The devil is trying to defeat us, but he can. Praise the Lord. You're talking about a people, Amen, that was able to survive a worldwide flood, and God saved eight souls out of everybody on the planet. That's power. When the plagues were falling, thank God, God was able to save His people, Amen, and nothing was able to to hurt them or destroy them. That's the power we're talking about. Praise the Lord, church. When the Red Sea opened up and God let His people walk through, amen, that was the power of God that we're talking about. Amen. And when they got through and our whole army got in there, it destroyed every single one of us. We've got the power today. Amen. We're just looking for it sometimes in the wrong places, in the wrong way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There's power with God's people. There's power in that Word of God. There's power, church. Amen. And when, when old, uh, uh, um, uh, the three Hebrew children were thrown into that uh, fiery furnace, uh, thank God that was power that saved them. Not even a hair on their head was burned. That's the power. We've got the power. Power's not in numbers. Power's not in uh, shouting and running all over the place. Although that happens sometimes. But that doesn't prove the power. I can take the Trinitarian people to shouting all over the place. Come on. I can take the one that people don't even believe in the name of Jesus Christ. They shout more than anybody. <laughs> Jump seats, rolling around in the floor. But they don't have the power. Amen. I got the power. You've got the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise Him. Hallelujah. Uh, Lord, they, you know, they, they took God's people down there back there many times, throwing them in, 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 in uh, hungry lions, amen, and, and, and let them destroy them. 
Set them out there in a garden and light them on fire to, to light the gardens. Thank God every one of them is saved. That's power. It's power. When the devil comes before us sometime, Brother Troy, and working on us, and we can, we can look and, and say, Now, devil, God told me that I can resist the devil, and he'll flee from us. That's power. It's not the power they're talking about. It's the power we find in God's Word to stand in the day of adversity. Look the devil right in the eye and say, no, 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 no. <laughs> Praise the Lord, church. You love him? I don't know who laid that mic up there like that. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. All right, we're going to have another minister come up. Brother Jeremy. We'll probably hear more out of him later too. We're not going to ask him to come. I don't. Does he sing? You don't sing. Well, can you preach? Come on, brother. We love brother Jeremy. I've heard him preach. He's a good preacher. Good man. Serves the Lord. Good help to brother Troy. Amen. We thank God for him there. able to be here with us this year. It's been a while, but we thank God that you're with us. So uh, we're going to give a few minutes to say something for us, brother Jeremy. There it is. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm glad to be here this morning. Amen. It's been a long time uh, since I was able to come to the, the convention. I was telling Brother Troy earlier I was about 15, 16 years old last time I came up here for a convention, and I'm now 32, so it's been a while. Amen. But you know what? I'm glad to be here. Amen. This morning. I'm glad for a safe trip up here. Amen. I'm glad for uh, I'm trying to still get over this head cold, this congestion a little bit. But you know what? I was a lot worse come uh, last last week and I was praying all week at work and everything. I said, Lord, you got to you got to help me get rid of some of this before I get to the convention. You got to, you know, I need some relief. I need some help. And, uh, you know, day by day, each day, I can feel myself getting a little bit better and, and still still getting over it. But you know what? God's still a healer, and I thank him for it this morning. Amen. He's, his arm's not too short that he can't reach down and help us. Amen. And, and you know what? He's still a loving God, and he's good to me. Amen. And I thank him for a safe trip up here. And, you know, we got on the plane, and uh, and. Uh, on the way up here, I would get, read my Bible and begin to look and, and search and just just kind of keep my mind occupied while I was on the way up here and you know took a little nap because we had to get up at three thirty and uh, but you know what I still thank God you know what that I was able to be here and uh, I'm, I'm you know I wish my wife would have got to be able to be here and my kids but you know what uh, they're with my mom over in West Virginia and but uh, but I'm glad that I'm here I'm glad each and every one of y'all's here this morning Amen I'm thankful for uh, Bishop Spence and. Uh, for letting us be, you know, uh, use one of the campers out here, and you know what, it slept good, amen. I slept, slept sound. I slept like a baby last night, amen. But I thank God for His love, His mercy, and His grace, and uh, just for being at the the convention, and just for uh, being together with God's people this, this this weekend, amen. It does me good, amen. You know what? Sometimes we just we keep to ourselves, and we're, you know, we we don't get out that much, and you know, we. Uh, but being together with God's people, amen. Getting to see uh, different ministers and different people, and hear their point of views and, and and different messages, amen, it does me good, amen, I told him the other day, I didn't have to say a word, I come to listen, amen, I come to be preached to, amen, I, I didn't, you know what, but I thank God, amen, just for everything he's done and just for uh, keeping me, leading me and guiding me and just for his love, his mercy and his grace, amen, I can't thank him enough for the love, amen, that he showed me. One day, amen, he reached down and picked me up out of a miry pit, out of a miry clay, amen, and set me on a solid rock, amen, for my feet to stay, amen, and you know what? He's been good to me ever since, Brother Randy, and I can't thank him enough. Amen. But I, I thank him and I appreciate him this morning. Y'all pray for me. Everybody say amen. amen. Enjoy that, brother. Amen. Praise the Lord. We'll get that back over there where it's safe here in a minute. Amen. How about a song from Michigan? Got a song from Michigan? We're glad they're here with it. We've got more of them coming in, I'm sure. But uh, can we have a song from Michigan this morning? Come on up, sis. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm glad to be here this morning. It's just a privilege just to be here, praise God. And uh, I'm thinking, when I get to thinking that I'm so big, well, there's somebody bigger than me and you. 
praise the Lord. And uh, that's the name of this song, Somebody Bigger Than You and I. And uh, it says G right here. Who made the mountains? Who made the seas? Who made the river flow to the sea? And who hung the moon in a starlit sky? Somebody bigger than you and I. Who lights the way when the road is long? Keeps us company. With his truth to guide us, he'll walk beside us just like he walks with me. When I get weary, filled with despair, who gives me courage to go on from there? And who gives me faith that will never die? Somebody bigger than you and I. Who makes the mount, who makes the flowers bloom in the spring? Who writes the song for the robins to sing? And who sends the rain when the earth is dry? Somebody bigger than you and I. Who lights the way when the road is long? Keeps us company. With his truth that guide us, he'll walk beside us just like he walks with me. When I get weary, filled with despair, who gives me courage to go on from there? And who gives me faith that will never die? Somebody bigger than you and I. Somebody bigger than you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Man, I like that. I had never heard that one. Somebody bigger than you and I. I, I couldn't help from the thought come to my mind as she was singing that. There's a lot of preachers out there today that need to come to understand there's somebody bigger than them. Can we say amen? There's somebody bigger, amen, than you and I. <laughs> ah, Lord, I like that, sis. You you keep that warmed up because we're going to use that again during this conference, maybe. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, there, there are just certain things that just stirs me. That stirs me. Sister Marilyn sings one that stirs me too. Her and the girls. I don't. She, she don't have the girls though. You can't sing that by yourself, can you? All right. Can you sing it for us? Praise the Lord. All right. I don't know what the title is, but there's one part in there I just love. Most of the church here knows it. But it's at one little part says, and that's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to say. Amen. Some people got a lot they want to say, but it's not like that. Amen. That's all I want. You know what, church? I love Jesus Christ. I love His church. I love His Word. And that's all I want to say right now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have much to be thankful for. At our last convocation, they had told me that I had cancer. But I serve an almighty God. 
and Almighty God. And I'm standing here to tell you that he is a healer. He is a healer of the body. I'm so thankful. So thankful. He's so precious. So precious. I'm undeserving of God's mercy. But I'm so thankful. I was thinking of that old song. I am blessed. I am blessed. Every day that I live, I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, till I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I am blessed. Oh, I just want to praise him and thank him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, how we praise you, Lord. Oh, we're so thankful. Can you obey? I may be so choked up I can't sing. But just just praise him and thank him. One more day that he's given us another day of breath. Another day that I'm still on two feet. I may be hobbling, but I'm still on two feet. I still have a voice to praise him. I still have ears to hear his word. And a voice to say, I love you, Lord. David sang the praises of the glory of Jehovah. Paul preached that all is lost, save knowing Christ. Little John said, he is precious. By leaning on his bosom, so for a moment may I humbly testify. Sing it with me. Did I mention that I love him? How I words, enough notes and the music to tell the story of all the Savior has done. And did I mention that I love him, how I worship and adore him? So 
and faithful to every promise he ever made me. I love him. That's all I want to say. I love him. I love him. That's all I want to say. Man, that just says it all. What more could we say? I'm talking about when you say, I love him from here. Not just lip service. I believe every time somebody says, Lord, I love you. And it comes from here. It reaches all the way. There's a whole lot of people out there today. Oh, I love you. I love you. But it's just lip service. It's not coming from here. My Bible tells me, amen, God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Praise Him. Praise Him. Man, there's, I tell you what, there's a good spirit here this morning. <laughs> May not be a lot of people, but there's some good spirit here. And I'll tell you what I think and what I believe when you feel what I'm feeling. Something could get done this morning. Somebody could be touched. Somebody delivered, healed. If it's just an easing of your mind or the calming of your nerves. Hallelujah. God can do all things. Amen. Well, before conference is over, I'm going to I'm going to do that. Why wait? What's wrong with right now? Right Praise now. Him. I believe if that woman could touch the hem of His garment, I believe you touch any part of His garment. Hallelujah. But you've got to press your way toward Him. Don't let the round the surroundings hinder you. Don't let people around there trying to push you away. Well, I tried to go and somebody pushed me away. Well, you push your way around them and come on up here. Hallelujah. Amen. People Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Too Don't easy. Give up. Right. He, she, she pressed her way through the crowd. I believe, church, I, I don't put on no theatrics or anything, but Come on. my God, I believe she's yeah. pushing out. i got to get to it. Get to it. And she got to it. Amen. And Amen. she was healed. Come Hallelujah. On. The woman was going to die. She went through worse. She spent all she had. No money. Right. She spent all she had. I guess I can tell you this. There wasn't a penny in her name. All she had was all she had. No money left. No doctor would probably see her. My God, she touched the doctor. And she got what she needed. Hallelujah. Don't you leave here today Amen. without believing yeah. that you got what you asked for. Yeah. That's faith, friend. That's faith. Not I hope. Hallelujah. I think. Abraham believed God. And it was accounted unto him for righteousness. we got to believe God. Hallelujah. Believe in it. I believe, Lord. I believe. He looked down one time and says, According to your faith, it shall be done unto you. I said this many times. When he told that, that person, According to your faith, it shall be done. In our way of maybe explaining that, he gave them a, a signed check. <laughs> Whatever you believe me for, you got it. Can you imagine that? Whatever, brother. That's like God said, Troy Stafford. Right. I'm not trying to be funny. Right. Troy Stafford, whatever you need, whatever you believe me for, you got it. I think we find him out on the floor, probably. Amen. I'm serious. Amen. Notice the Lord, will thou? What did he say? I will. I will. I will. He said, I will. Then he said to some others, Oh, you have little faith. 
Bring them to me. Bring them here. I'm talking about a real God. I'm talking about a God that there's no playing around. A mighty God. I'm talking about a God that if he says it, if he says it, it's done. Called ABC. You got this, you need this done? Well, then these people come and say, Lord, how's that? How's that leak in your pipes? Uh-huh. He said, uh, Well, we called ABC. The guy just speaks over the and it's done. Another had an electrical problem. Yeah, but I called ABC. Well, then it's done, the other person said. Advertising ABC company. Let me tell you something, friend. You call on Jesus Christ, and it's done. Now, I don't mean lip service. I mean call on him. It's done. Praise him. Today's a good day. Why not? First service of this conference. Why not? Let's, let's get our faith built up a little bit. Some of you need to come back sometime this afternoon tonight and testify. God healed me. Now, we're not asking you to lie. If you didn't hear, you don't do it. But if you'll believe God, I believe we can, we can hear that. God touched me. Or better yet, as I was saying, we can come back here. Some say, I touched him. <laughs> Somebody says, I touched him. Don't doubt it. Believe it. Believe it. Yeah. Tell people all the time. Sometimes people say, well, I don't believe this. I don't believe that. You need to quit saying that. Because that makes you an unbeliever. If it was true and it was the word of God and you said, well, I don't believe that, then you're an unbeliever. I tell people all the time, you're poor, don't say that. If you don't understand it, say, you know, I don't understand that. There's can, there can be some mercy in that. If you say, I don't believe it, whew, you get God upset with you. If God said it, if it's written, and you say, I don't believe it, Friend, you're hurting. How many of you believe you're hurting? If God said it, and it's written, and it told you, and you say, I don't believe it, well, under you. You love him? You believe God can do something before this conference is over? Amen, I believe.